the divine walk. What happens to you when you love? And I'm not talking about the feeling of love. I'm talking about actually loving someone. This is what a loving person looks like. They are these seven things that love is. They're patient, kind, truthful. They protect others. They trust, they hope, and they persevere. The problem is people come along and they hurt them. Now they have a decision to make. Will they persevere in love? If they do, they persevere. They keep hope alive. What was taken from them can be restored. And we know the problem is someone comes along and hurts them again. Then they have to make the decision again. Will they keep protecting others? If so, then what was taken from them is going to be restored. Now, here's where it gets really hard. The same person keeps coming along and it keeps hurting them. Now, we have a decision to make. If we're going to live a loving life, we have to tell them the truth and we have to protect others. If someone is repeatedly hurting you, they're destroying their own life. They're not being these seven things. They're being the eight things love is not. If we love them and we protect them, we have to confront them. Love forces us to confront them for their sake, not our own. But if we're afraid to confront them, this is what happens. Instead of confronting them with the truth and protecting others so that this stuff can be restored, we introduce boundaries. These are not to protect them. These are to protect me. Another thing I want to add to this video is that when you love in someone or when you love others, I'm not talking about the feel of love. I'm talking about when you love others, there are several things happen to you as well. Number one, it is reflecting God's love. So loving others reflect God's character because God is love, First John 4, verse 8. When you love others, you love unconditionally, sacrificial love that God has for all humankind. Number two, fulfill his greatest commandment. Jesus um, summarized the entire law into two commandments. To love God with all your heart, soul, mind, body, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, verse 37, 39. So loving other fulfilled this second greatest commandment. Number three, building relationship. So it helps you build relationship. Love faster, healthy, um, meaningful relationship with others. Proverbs 17, verse 7. And it said that a friend love at all time. Emphasize the importance of love is building strong friendship and connection. And number four, overcoming evil. Yes, when you love others, you overcome evil. Romans 12 verse 21 teaches that love overcome evil. And when you respond to hate or wrongdoing with love and kindness, you have the power to break the cycle of violence and promote reconciliation. Number five, it demonstrates disciplineship. So Jesus said by this, everyone will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. John 13, verse 35, loving other is tangible expression of discipleship and a witness to transforming the power of Christ in your life. Number six, you bless others when you love others. And that is coming from Proverbs 11, 25. It says, a generous person will foster whosoever refresh others will be refreshed. Because loving others involves the act of kindness, compassion, selflessness that bless and benefit all those around you. And number seven, the last and final, obeying God's commandment. John 15, 12 and 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 9. So the Bible believers are instructed to love one another. Loving others is an act of obedience to God's commandment and demonstrate your devotion to him. So let us continue to love others because it reflects your relationship with God and your commitment to live been out is teaching in your daily life. Thank you for watching this video. This is the Divine Broadcast, changing life into Christ's life style.